Hi guys, welcome back to Freedom in a Budget and this is the fourth and final video of how we are doing our October budget and me showing you in Excel how to create your own budget and template. So we are going to jump right back in. I have linked the other three videos down below in the description as well as the playlist so that you can um, follow along and create your own budget. So where I left off, we still had $722.15 to spend for the month, which is awesome. So we have our side hustle in there and all the extra money. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at my sinking funds. All of the money throughout the month has been spent. The regular costs and everything all have been spent. Um, we have paid our minimums on everything except for the top one. You know what, actually we can pay our um, minimum $80 because that usually comes out throughout the month. And then we're going to come back to this as well. So we are going to do our um, sinking funds. So let's say here that we have Christmas. Um, and then $50 for new car and vacations. Say we are about to go on a trip right now and we only have, I don't know, we have $20 that's going in this month and then $140 in here as well. Say we need $100 out of this. So what I'm gonna do is go up to the supplemental transfer and this can get a little bit confusing, but stay with me. And I'm gonna do negative 80. So that is going to be taken out of the total. And then for this, I'm only going to do zero. So rather than, we allotted $20 here in the 295. So rather than putting that in, so that 20 plus the 80 is the $100. So this is gonna get dropped, dropped down to $60. And then you can see the total there change as well and then $20 there and $180 for car insurance. So I hope that makes sense. Please leave any comments that you have down below, um, but it can be confusing. So again, just to refresh, we're gonna do negative 80. So we're taking $80 from the sinking funds, the balance, and then transfer it in this as well. And also, if you have your sinking funds in an external account, like I do, I have all of my regular banking in Bank of America, and then I have my sinking funds in Capital One because it's great interest bearing. And I'll link below my Capital One referral link as well if you do wanna check it out. Um, I do believe you get either 20 or $25 for signing up. And I think having a minimum of like $200 in the account, 250, something like that. So when you make that transfer, you do wanna make the transfer from here to your other account as well. Um, and keep in mind the um, amount of days that it takes. Typically it takes about three to four days. So just keep that in mind when you are doing it and make sure you have enough time um, to, to get there. Um, all right, this was not the right amount, 180, not 10. And then we're gonna do 180 minus 180 is zero. So then we can see here, we went under 20, but that's because of this right here. So now we are down to 497.50. So we get to put all of that amount towards our um, Visa card, which is awesome. So I'm going to go 80 plus, because we already had 80 in there, and then 495.15. So that is huge. And that's how the snowball starts working. So we're gonna put all of our money down to it. Now, I'm sure there's gonna be some interest on this card as well. But let's just say we have 868 minus, let's say they took, I don't know, $20 or $25 of interest. So we would have 577, um, 15 plus the $25, actually we'll do, um, let's see, uh, minus the 20, We'll say $20 just because it's late and my brain is not working. And 
Let's see. All right, so now this card would roughly be down to $340. Okay, well, let's say that we did the same exact thing next month. That's another um, $557, or $577 extra that we get to pay, which pays off this card, and then it goes to the student loan. And then once the student loan is paid off, because now we're putting $325 plus the $80 on the car, this is going to go really fast. And so any of that extra money, and that's where that snowball takes effect, which is awesome. All right, so I'm going to clear that out, and I'm going to do these here so that you can see that we paid an extra $497 to our, um, to our Visa card, which is awesome. All right. Minus 124, and we're going to add these up. Okay, so now if you look here, zero. This is zeroed up. This is a zero-based budget. And so we have spent every single penny. Every single penny has a name. Um, I really don't like to leave anything in there and roll over. Some people roll over five, ten dollars anything like that. I don't like to do that because I like to see every penny. I see the most progress when I do that. And um, when I wasn't before, I was having all of these like twenty, thirty, hundred dollar things that I would just leave in there and then it, the money would get spent. Or I would do the budget in my head and then have an extra $200. But at the end of the month, somehow that $200 is gone because you're not budgeting, because you're not putting down every single purchase that you do. This here takes a lot of work, um, but it is effective. It is going to save you in the long run if you are putting in every single transaction that you spend. Um, I have talked about my Savvy Sense wallet and how I have a section for logged receipts and not logged receipts. So I know that if it is not in the logged receipts, it's not on my spreadsheet and it needs to be. So that is how I stay focused and gazelle intense with that. Okay, so we are done for the month. This is it. Money has spent. It is October 31st or whatever, how many days are in October. And we are ready for November. Now, I like doing it about two or three months in advance for my budget um, but um, you can do them the week before whatever it is so if you look down here all the way at the bottom you see sheet one I'm going to rename that to October 16 just so I know that that is the, um, 2016 so that when I have multiple tabs down here for all the different months a year from now or two years from now I can look back and see when the 16th is Okay, so now I'm going to right click on this um, tab and do move or copy. And this is going to jump up. And so it's going to say before sheet. And so you can either do it before the 16th or you can do move to end. I'm going to do move to end because I want October, November. Then I'm going to do create a copy. And it's going to say October 16, 2. And that's going to say that there's two of them. And I'm going to do rename and do November 16. Okay. So now we're looking at, this is thinking that it's November's budget. So I want to change this to November 2016. And then I'm going to clear out all of this. Um, so I'm gonna clear out my actuals. Um, I'm gonna leave um, all of these formulas, all the percentage formulas. It's gonna look a little crazy um, with all these D hashtag div slash zero exclamation point um, but that's okay as we start filling in more it's gonna it's gonna all be okay all right you know what actually that was I shouldn't have cleared out the groceries I'm gonna come back to this we're gonna have to redo this formula so I messed up on that all right so we're gonna take these out your contents okay so since we have to redo these formulas for grocery I'm going to do equals then hit the zero and it's going to format the zero we're going to go equals and then do eating out equals pocket money equals and gas okay so let's figure out um, the paychecks. 
I get paid on the 15th and 30th of each month. So it depends on how much we have in the, the month, like the hours or the amount of days that are in those, depending on where the weekends fall. So I have to do the math of, to figure out how much I'm going to be getting with the amount of hours times my rate minus about 25% for taxes. So let's say for this one, it's gonna be 1485. And this one is gonna be 1495, let's just say. And let's say I have a babysitting job and it's confirmed and everything and I know that I'm gonna get $200 in. So I have 3180 to work with. And if I look at my total spent, I have 2947.41. Now, this is just something that I do. I like to have um, a little thing here where I do equals the budget amount, the total in minus the outgo. And let's make this black. Okay, so I have $232 left to work with and I'm going to kind of figure out what I have um, in my budget and what I have to work with. Um, so I really have $232 to spend. Now, if this was the other way around and I had to cut $230, I gotta look in here and say, okay, I need to cut my eating out money. I need to cut my groceries or gas or whatever it is. Um, but this time we do have more money to spend. So I know for packet money, I have a friend's birthday coming up, so I need to buy her a gift. So I'm gonna jump that from that pocket money from $30, I'm gonna do it up to $60 because I'm gonna get her something. Um, and so now I have 202.29. All right, so I also, you know what, I know that Christmas is coming. And since I have some extra money this month, I wanna bump this up to $75 just to kind of um, give me a little bit more of a cushion so I can buy some extra things for Christmas. And let's see what else. You know what, that's it. Those are really all of the other goals that I have. So I'm gonna put the rest onto my Visa card. So I'm gonna do 80 plus 152.29. And that brings it down to zero there, so we can clear that out. And so if we look here, 3180, and this should say 3180, which it does, so it's perfect. So now I'm already getting the snowball running. And before the minimum was um, $80, now I'm budgeting $332. So if I do get any overtime or any more supplemental, like say they give me a $50 tip, that is all going to go extra on the Visa card and, and hopefully bump it out, which is awesome. Um, and so honestly guys, that's that's it for setting up the budget. This one is ready to go. Um, if I do put just a placeholder here for $1, um, you'll see that all the percentages will come through. And without it, that's just them saying, hey, we need something to formulate. So I'm just gonna put a one there just so that you can see the formula so they are all set to go. And that's it guys. So please leave any questions that you have down below. If I get enough questions, I'll do a video specifically on it. Or if I need to jump back into Excel to explain something a little bit more specific. And as I said a hundred times, all the links are down below in the description box. Please make sure that you watch the whole series just so you can fully understand. And also share this with a friend that needs help with a budget or Someone they've been talking about budgeting is saying, hey, like you really need to get into this. This will help. Um, send, in the, send in the playlist. That would be awesome. So thank you so much for watching, and I have hope you have an awesome night.